All right, good evening, everybody. And we are coming from the Jazz Bistro. And this is like the Valentine's show with Tia Brazda. It has been a couple of months since I've seen you. and But, oh, my God, what a great show. How are you? I'm doing good. Are you? Yeah. You know what? It's amazing just to watch your whole career. I mean, it's been three years since we had a, a sit down. Yes. And now, look at you, you've traveled all <laughs> over the world. You've got a brand new album out, a couple of videos to go with it. And so what's next for you? Uh, my next uh, thing is I'm heading to Germany. I, I will be playing Birdland, and that's in April. Oh. And then I'm working on a new album, and I will be releasing that this uh, fall. So now, three years ago when we did our, our, our interview at Canada Music Week, you were on your way to Valencia. Yes. And you were going to hit <laughs> Europe. And so, so fun. how was that? Now, since then, you've been absolutely everywhere. Been a few places. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Valencia was amazing. Was it? Yeah, yeah. it was a great jazz was, festival. The Spanish know how to do it. Oh, it was so good. I, I played uh, the Iboga Festival. Yeah. And, uh, Oh, it was so great. I met so many wonderful people, and they actually, uh, they have a, a Berkeley jazz campus, like a music campus uh, in Valencia, too. So there's a lot of international musicians, and like even like a lot of Canadians there, and met a lot of people. And then I, I went to Barcelona, and uh, I, um, I was in Germany last year as well, and a few other places, so I've been doing a lot of traveling when I can. Now, did I see something that you were in Australia as well? No, Not I've yet. actually never been to Australia. Okay. Yeah, it's on the sure. bucket list. Okay, I wasn't sure because I know that you are absolutely everywhere and that you are performing and that it seems to be that you are the woman that everyone wants at their jazz festivals. And if I'm not <laughs> mistaken, you've been like in about probably about 15 or 16 festivals in the last couple of years, like just I, yeah, moving around, I would say including about last that. year at the TD Jazz Festival as well you were there uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> it says on social media that you were there. I was actually looking at my I was just looking at my list of all the shows <gasps> I've played and so uh, yesterday and was surprised at how long the list has gotten now so it, it's been a fantastic journey and I've met a lot of great people, amazing musicians, I've played with different people in uh, many different places now and uh, I just I can't wait to do more and Australia, yeah. hopefully, in, in 2021. That was one of the questions I wanted to ask you. When you were shooting that video for, for Daydream, how many locations or was absolutely everything on green oh, screen? Thank you. Uh, no, actually, it was it looked entirely like shot in real. There was no green screen at all. And how long did it take to do that video? Two days. Wow. Yeah. So Wow, there's a lot of hair and makeup, a lot of different changing around yeah. of locations. and. Yes. You've got to hear the story because originally we were going to go to Florida and then they had a big storm. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuba was also a, a maybe and then because of the weather we had to do it in Ontario which proved to be very challenging. So imagine like palm trees just basically filling out all the scenes that were described in the treatment right. and fitting them into finding them in Ontario and yeah it's just definitely a challenge for the director and he pulled it off so I was very very happy with that well you know when you were when you were singing tonight and you added in the uh, amour de bohème is that how you pronounce that is that how An we... amour bohème yes so that video kind of like introduced you maybe as an actress Oh, as walking thank through, you. you know, and of course with your little sidekick. My side mother kick, said the same the, with thing. A, with a kitty cat there, and I saw that, and I thought that was so crazy. Thank and, you. and and I like when you were when you were talking about it tonight about how cold it was in Montreal. It was freezing. And yet you kept it all together to put that song together. <laughs> you know, I just thought that was wonderful. Do you see? Like, I mean, I think right now you have probably about eight videos, music videos that you put together. You'd be working on a lot more. Or? Yeah, definitely gonna work yeah. on some more. Oh, good. I'm so happy to see you. Thank it's just you. been a couple of years of that we've been able to sit and talk or a stand and talk here because yeah. we are at the Jazz Bistro. So you're heading to Germany mm -hmm. and when you come back you'll be going back to work for uh, the new album? Yes. Okay, good. That's, That's going to be like my summer and then the release will be end of September. Oh, amazing. Uh, maybe first week of October but definitely going to happen in the early fall and then back on the road. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. And so now you've got all of your music are available on iTunes, on Spotify, yep. as well as I think there's two other platforms. Is there two? Uh, Bandcamp, if you like Bandcamp. real like physical CDs mm -hmm. um, or downloads as well. And then uh, Amazon. So yeah, it's kind of like on all of the major online outlets, I guess. Okay, good yeah. stuff. So Mike, Mike, Stu, and you, <laughs> yeah. this is like a new combination. Yes, yeah, I'm glad you noticed that. It was really um, a unique 
night for us because I've, I've never actually had a show with us. So Stu Harrison was on piano, Mike Downs on bass, mm -hmm. and then Mike Friedman on guitar. And this, this setup is, is not one I've done before. Um, no drums, no horns. Yeah, I was thinking uh, that, yeah. Some amazing solos, I have to say. The, those musicians were just like, mm, so good. And Sia, that's one thing I like about you is that you always, you you guys are always a team. When you put your band together, it's a team, and that Absolutely, everybody gets those yeah. moments and they get that. And what I really like is that the audience is there waiting, you know, and that they enjoy that. People come for the musicians as yeah, well, right? Well, yeah. I I feel like people, especially people like jazz music. I mean, they are appreciators of of music and. And they know their stuff a lot of the time, and they look to see which musicians are playing with you. And they're coming to see, you know, Mike or maybe Stu or whomever that they, they know of in the band, definitely. See, I think that's always a great way that you can just share everything together. Yeah. And everybody produces such a great show. And it's unique, and it's different from the recording, right? So, like, sitting at home and just streaming stuff it is nice, but, like, for people to come out and support live music, that's, like, you get a different experience completely than you would on the recording yeah and i think that's something that you know what it's important in toronto to keep supporting live music and Absolutely. keep bringing people out and i'm glad that we have the festivals that are happening i'm glad that we have the jazz bistro yes the too. rex hotel we have these places that you know that are still running and that have got live musicians playing all the time and it's such a great because you know there's so many um well-established jazz musicians i mean tonight on the stage you have the, like one of the great Mike Downs. I know, I know, and I, he won a Juno last year. It was it was fantastic. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Well, I wanted to thank you and everybody here at the Jazz Bistro for having us. Tia Braza, of course. <laughs> you can check her out at tiabraza.com. If not, go to Facebook. If not, go to Spotify. Go to iTunes. Go everywhere. Buy her music. And we're going to see you when you come back from Germany with thank a new you. album. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. much. <laughs> <laughs>